brother? Assault and kidnapping? Interesting. No, I haven't seen him in about two years. And I've never seen this baby. Believe me, this is the last place Brody would go if he was in trouble. Mind if I look around? Got a warrant? If your brother contacts you, call us. I can't thank you enough. Don't. Don't thank me. That is the last thing I wanted to do. What has happened to you, Brody? How could you kidnap your own son? You sure you don't want some water or something? <laughs> Not sure about anything right now. I mean, two minutes ago, I was marrying Brody, and now it feels like it was ten years ago. How about this? Why don't you close your eyes? Try to get a few minutes of sleep. Can't. I have to tell you something that's gonna sound kind of silly. Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I, I had this dream. I was opening up the envelope that had the paternity results in them. Your name was on that paper. So in the dream, you, you were Liam's father. Even if there is a perfectly good explanation for all of this, even if all we have to do is find Cutter, we still have to find Cutter in a city of six million people. I know it seems impossible. No, it doesn't just seem, it is. Just don't think about that right now. Well, how can I not? Excuse me, do you have any magazines or crossword puzzles? I'm afraid I'm all out, but I do have this. Oh, perfect, thanks. Okay. Seriously, you want to play cards? I think the game could clear your mind. Well, I have to warn you, I'm good. We'll see, just I'm good. I'm sorry I lied before. I am a very wealthy woman now, and I have an island resort, and there are gigolos and grifters trying to take advantage of me all the time, and you can't blame me for trying to be cautious. Of course. And to tell you the truth, I, I, I wasn't quite sure, for sure it was you. It's been a long time. Oh, just a few decades, during which time you never thought once to check on the family that you destroyed. I didn't know anything about Willie. You never asked. You never looked back. You never, you, you never wanted to check in on Dad after you took his money and ran. Not to mention check in on maybe your little son and daughter. Although you never really did care about Aubrey, did you? Stop. How is Aubrey? She was so sweet. Not much to look at, unfortunately. She took after your dad's side of the family, but she was Wait so a sweet. Oh, oh my God, it's worse than I imagined. I left a trail of incest. Wait. No, not that Aubrey. The real Aubrey, my sister, the one whose life you wrecked too. You poor motherless things. I am just so sorry. So sorry. That's, that's great. What good does so sorry do me? Tell me, Monsieur Manning, what has this man done to coerce you into getting involved with him again? And why am I here? You're going to make a phone call to your dear friend, Tomas Delgado. And if I refuse? Don't be an idiot. Make the phone call. Now, see, that is good advice. You should listen to him, Claude. I had no idea. <laughs> Neither did I till a few days ago. I still haven't told Danny. I still can't believe it's real. Look, even though this child's father is gone, I'm going to be here for her or him and for you. Thank you. What are we sitting for? Let's celebrate. <laughs> okay. I'll get a uh, glass of champagne for you and a glass of milk for me. Okay? Very exciting. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Tomas. Tomas, sorry about the form. You need to come to warehouse 22 by the docks. Did you find Louis? Is he ready to talk about the gun? 
gun is involved, yes. I'm on my way. Be careful, old friend. You never know what you might be walking into. What the hell was that? Some sort of ham-fisted attempt at a warning? I see Thomas is right about you. You did kill your brother. 